Welcome to this video. Uh, we will solve a past paper question together involving sequences. Uh, I'm Mr. Merrill from explainingmaths.com. So check my website for all my other free resources. So what's going on? It says the second term of a geometric sequence is six and the fifth term is 162. Find the tenth term. Now, there are several ways of doing this. Um, I'll just show you my way, uh, if that's okay. Uh, first of all, very important is that we're talking about a geometric sequence, all right? So not an arithmetic, but a geometric sequence. So the nth term rule is un equals the first term times the common uh, ratio to the power n minus one. There we go. And it says the second term is six. There we go, that's the second term. And 162 for term number five. Now, what do I do? Because we're talking about relatively small term numbers, let me just put some lines down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five terms. And I say the second one is six, and the fifth one, 162. There we go. Uh, because that makes more sense to me, because now I can see that 6 times r times r times r is going to give me 162. So 6 times r to the power 3 equals 162. There we go. If you rearrange that now, 162 divided by 6, then you take the cube root, you're going to find that r equals 3. Yeah, so 6 times 3, 18. 18 times 3, what is that? 30, 54. And indeed, 54 times 3, 162. But that's not what they're asking. They're not asking what is r. They're asking, find the tenth term. Now, I can continue this a couple of times, and I'll be qu fairly quickly at uh, term 10. Um, however, I'll do it slightly differently. I will do u10 equals, as yeah, so I'm going to use the formula, equals u1. Now, what is the first term? Well, basically, what times, we know that r is 3, what times 3 equals 6, or if you go backwards, 6 divided by 3, indeed 2. Okay, so term 1 is 2, so you're going to get u1, so 2 times r, which is 3, to the power 10 minus 1, yeah? so to the power 9. Plug it in your calculator, you're going to get 39,000 366. Now, that's your final answer. There you go. Um, again, there were different ways of doing it. Uh, I'll just show you my way, and I'd like to say if you have a blackout, and, and by the way, this formula is on your formula sheet, eh? you do not have to remember it by heart, but if you have a blackout and you don't know what R and U1 means, this was term 5, so times 3, times 3, times 3, times 3, times 3, you're at U10, and you're going to get 39,366 too. I hope it was useful. This was Mr. John, explainingmaths.com. Um, I hope to see you soon on my website. Bye-bye.